So, so that's what the Republicans have done. Rush Limbaugh is not a Christian. He's a freaking, he used to be a pill head. You know, he's addicted to pain pills, dude. He got arrested for the, or, yeah, I think he did get arrested for that, man, because he got caught with some prescription pain pills he bought on the freaking street. Okay. So, so he's, and he's a prophet. Well, he's a conservative prophet and preacher. Okay, people like that, they, they poison, you know, they poison uh, the ch doctrine of the church. Okay, and they're clouds without rain. So when that storm came, it, 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 it brought, didn't bring any rain with it. Rain is revival. Rain is um, when God allows us, if it's not judgment, God allows storms into our lives, not because he's mad and wants to judge us. It's because it brings rain, which is revival into our life. Revival of the Holy Ghost being poured out into our lives and us being renewed. It's the rainy season. It's new growth. It's new life. Okay. That's what the storms are for. Except when it's judgment. And these freaking punks, they brought wrath and destruction and a horrible financial storm and economic ruin. And there was no rain in it. it God didn't send it, allow it for, for revival to happen. It was judgment and destruction and that's it. I'm not dealing with you anymore. I'm not, I'm not reaching out to you anymore. That's it. This isn't meant for revival. It's meant to punish you and to destroy you from the face of the freaking earth. Because you're useless in my freaking sight. I don't, I don't, you, you disgust me. I want to throw you up out of my freaking mouth. You know. You nauseate me. You're a freaking abomination to me. So I'm going to freaking handle my freaking business and you're gone. So that was my dream, man. And it was horrible. And I felt sick. Because it was doom and gloom. It was... I was safe. You know, and if you follow Christ like little children, and you come to Christ with childlike faith like little children, you know... I remember when I was a little kid, I had no idea about socioeconomic status. I, I had no concept of um, hierarchies. I had no concept of higher, lower classes, inferior, superior classes of people, races, you know, poor, rich, middle class, whatever. I had no concept of that. And I remember going to my grandparents on my mom's side, where all my cousins were. And my grandparents were freaking poor. And I didn't notice that crap at all. They lived in an old house. Old house that they rented. I don't even think it had air conditioning in it. And, and, and if they had a car, it was an old beat up car. And they were poor. But all my cousins were there. That's some of the best times of my life, man. When they would come from out of town, we used to have some fun, man. Best times of my life. And I had no concept of that. And that's how the Lord wants us to be. He wants us to get to the point of little children. Okay, because in my dream, them, them little children were in that little valley. And there was no rain, but they were safe. And I was right, I was right there with them. And I marveled because it was just little kids and they were freaking brave. And they were checking out the storm, man. They were like little freaking goonies or little rascals or something, you know. And they were tough little kids and they were brave. They weren't afraid. You know why? Because they had faith in their God. And he, he was their provider. He was their parent, you know. And that's the way he, he wants us to be. So anyways, man, that's all I have. I hope this helps you, dude. Peace.